Oops, they did it again. What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard to Bubba's Daily Update. And the Fed Minute just came out. It is about 2.15 Eastern time. And, of course, they did it again. They continue to put on the dovish clothing. Uh, for whatever reason, they, they want to continue to manipulate the economy, try to manipulate the market, try to manipulate the bond market, manipulate the dollar. Who knows? The government shut down. The Fed is at, at, at its best right now, showing just how clueless they are and how they do not understand a free market system. So instead of trying to understand the free market system, they will continue to try to destruct it. In the meantime, the markets like it, of course. We're seeing the Dow up, the, the NASDAQ up. Everything is up across the board as we push up towards those resistance levels we've been talking about all week, 2,600 in the S&P, 24.4 in the Dow. And of course, we will look to be sellers at those levels. Uh, no matter what the Fed does, again, as I said yesterday, you can kick the can down the road only so far. Eventually, you run out of road and it blows up in your face. And this is just another part of the overall Fed bubble building started by Alan Greenspan and continued through his, his old legacy here. And although I thought Chair Powell was a real person and a real street guy, it's turning out that he succumbs to the pressure like everybody else. So we'll just have to play the markets we have. Again, remember, one thing we have to know, we play the markets we have, not the markets we want. In the meantime, oil broke out today. And of course, uh, one of our algorithms changed. Uh, from uh, short to long. So now, again, I'm not long getting long oil here. I mean, I have a small position, but took our losses on, on, on the short side. But of course, it wasn't really a loss because they were they came from way up there, but we didn't get all the profit. Out. I guess that would be a better way to put it. Uh, and now we're looking again. I'm waiting for another opportunity for it to turn back over again. I still think there's a shot for the high 30s. Uh, I think this is more of a, an eight day rally, which will look for some selling. And today might have been the final blow off here. But again, one thing you have to remember about trading is you don't sit in the market and wait until it takes you out. You take yourself out so you have the opportunity to re-enter at a later date. And that's exactly what we're seeing. It's exactly what we did in the bond market. And of course, the bonds have been kind of a tip off here. They've tried to sell them off and they come back. They're still lower on the day. However, the 10-year notes are higher. The 30-year bonds are lower, just showing that the, the curve is flattening even more. But at the end of the day, we want to be sellers of bonds on rallies because I do believe that the free market will take over here eventually. I think that the bond market's big enough to overtake the Fed as well. So let's see how it plays out. In the meantime, uh, gold is making another run, but it's really just churning in that 1280 to 1300 level. So again, remember, just watch those numbers. See how it came down this morning, tried 1280. Now it's pushing back up at about 1294. That's going to be the way the markets continue to trade until it breaks out one way or the other. We believe it'll break to the upside, but until it breaks out, there's no reason to really get involved in here. Uh, cryptos are pretty much flat. Uh, the uh, grains higher uh, on, on hope of, of China, maybe. But again, if there's something going to happen, I would think the grains would be a little higher than here. But of course, we've been bullish grains and look for this rally to continue. Cattle, both fast and feeders, just a shade lower. I would expect to see a little bit more selling there before we'll step in and be buyers again. We're not shorting here. We're looking for a spot to buy them. And of course, hogs are rallying a little bit here today. So again, it's a fairly quiet day for a move. Uh, keep an eye on the VIX. Keep an eye on all the things you're talking about. But really, we're not really looking to be aggressive unless something changes until we see 2,600 in the S&P, 24.4 in the Dow. Uh, and we'll look at 55 in crude to, to see if that's going to be a reversal. But of course, now... The algorithm is showing us there's a little bit room to go on the upside, so we'll continue to watch that. Gold will watch between 1280 and 1300. In the meantime, this is Bubba's Daily Update, Todd Bubba Horowitz. I will be on uh, Fox Business after the bell at about 4 Eastern, so if you want to check me out, see you there. In the meantime, have a great day. We'll see you back here tomorrow with more of Bubba's Daily Update. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you later.